Hi guys, check who dropped by the lab. Everyone's dropping by lately, it's Frankie. Everyone knows Frankie from hey. uh, 99 Cent uh, Hobbies, the eBay store. Yes. Definitely. Yes, what are you doing in Sydney? Uh, just having a holiday. Holiday, for two beautiful. Weeks. Yeah. Oh, lucky you. <laughs> I think I, I need a holiday, I desperately <laughs> need a holiday. So, so you're based in Hong Kong. Yes, we are. And uh, is, is that eBay store your full-time business no, or just a part-time it's, it's more a part-time yeah. thing that takes up a lot of the, a lot of, a lot of time because <laughs> yeah. you've got like five thousand yeah. feedback or something something like that yeah yeah, yeah i've and been doing it for about what three years now I mean, is there steady growth yeah, yeah it's a steady growth it's yeah. not growing too much because i it, it's a mm. it's still like a one-man thing right so, yep. you know there's only so much i can do every <laughs> yeah, day yeah pack so and I, ship i can't really grow yep. it you know at a at a rate that 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 would Really, uh, you know, make it explode. Right, it's okay. It's not going to happen. Right, Unless okay. I, you know, start you know, expanding. People and, yeah, but yeah. that's that's one thing I'm not too sure about because I, I don't, I don't, right. I don't know about managing people and all that. Thing. All that sort of stuff. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. Tell me about it. What's the market difference between Hong Kong and China? Because they're practically like, well, Hong Kong is China, yes, right? But yes. we won't get into the political differences. <laughs> I know. But is there any difference in doing business in Hong Kong as opposed oh, to just over the yeah, border it's very, it's very in Shenzhen? Different. It's very yeah. different. Like, in, uh, in, in how? Uh, like the currency is one thing, because right. Hong Kong yep. is a free market. Currency okay. goes in and out freely. Right. But in China, you can't really you know, move the money as freely as we ah, can. Okay. That's Interesting. one thing. So like, yep. if you're making like big purchases from overseas, I think there's... Right, it's not, easier in China yeah. to... Right. No, it's easier. In oh, Hong sorry. Kong in in Hong Kong, yeah, it's easier right. in Hong Kong to do yeah. it. Right. Yeah. So it's better to have a business based in Hong Kong than I think China, so. You think because also Hong Kong has a very low tax rate. Okay. Yeah, it's only what sort of rate? Uh, I think the maximum is only for for business or even for individuals. Well, yeah. the maximum is about seventeen percent. Seventeen percent. That's yeah, not bad. That, Businesses like here get charged. You know the highest 30. that you'd pay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. So it's and a scaled that's tax, right? It's right. The, you, don't, you you fall into different brackets. The brackets yeah. depending on your income level. That's right. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but I think for business it's a fixed seventeen okay. percent. Okay, seventeen percent. Still, it's, it's, I mean, yeah, after yeah. all the expenses and all that, right. you know, you, you you can you can deduct all your expenses. Um, so it's 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 a very low tax rate Got environment, it. and I think in in China it's actually higher. Okay. Yeah. Right. So, is there any difference, uh, like component access to oh, stuff? Is it is it just as good in Hong Kong, or is it no, better if you're no, based in not, Shenzhen? Not really. It's a lot. Better if you're based in Shenzhen. In Shenzhen yeah. right. But then it's only, you know, a uh, 30 minute, you know, yeah, yeah. train ride away. So can you, yeah. like, just go, oh, I'll just hop on a train, go yes, over, yes. stock up on stuff, yes, and just bring can, a backpack I, full I've of I've never done it. <laughs> right. Because it's, it's so much easier just to order online. <laughs> right. Oh, okay. I mean, shipping, right. it's, you know, right. very cheap. Yep. Within China yep. or even across the border to Hong Kong, it's still relatively right. cheap. Okay. And there's yeah. no issues with customs going between well because uh, well, there, there are a few China, things yeah right? well so, no but they, they they do have like a border control right so there are a few yep. things that we can't you know uh, get easily yeah uh, I, I mean there's certainly there's like control substance like you know the tobacco the right oh, of course and of course that. Yep. and then for electronics uh, most things are okay okay really, you know yep. Uh, there, there are things that you can't you can't really ship, but right because China has um, economic zones too, don't, like free trade zones and yeah, yeah, yeah. stuff like that. How yeah. complicated is? I, I don't know. Is that I don't know you, much you, about you don't that. know? It's yeah. just easy in Hong yeah, Kong, right? right? It's just just yeah. done. <laughs> <laughs> what? How easy and cheap is shipping in Hong Kong? Like, cause you ship all over yes. the world, uh, right? So, like for example, if you ship like a two hundred gram package. Yep. Uh, in Hong Kong, it would be about what is it? Let me work it out. Uh, about thirty dollars Hong Kong, which is uh, what? Which What's is that about, in Yankee uh, dollars? About Ooh. four dollars. <laughs> four three, bucks. Three, yeah, four yeah. Dollars, yeah. Right. Is that to anywhere in the world? To anywhere in the world. Anywhere yeah. in the world. As, yeah. as, so is that a limit? So they, any, they, anything over two hundred gram? Anything under two hundred grams? No, it's actually they they based it on ten gram inter. Uh, oh, uh, okay, imprint. right. Yeah. Okay. So you uh, right. you pay as you know as it get heavier you pay a bit yep. more. So it's actually cheaper to to ship. You know, uh, light things are really cheap. Yeah. But as it get heavier, right, sometimes it's not, it's not right, so cheap anymore. Right, you'll pay more. That's right. right. But they they're going to increase the price uh, after the the turn of the year. Oh, I like. So it's okay. going to get a bit uh, right. more expensive, and I'll, I'll probably have to adjust some of my pricing as well. Right. Yeah. Okay. 
So yeah. do you ship mo uh, do you ship via regular Hong Kong post? Yeah, Hong Kong post most of the time. Yeah. yeah, unless some customers, you know, specifically request that I ship. Uh, like, courier, like FedEx, or something. Yeah. Right. Okay. Then, is that is that cheap in Hong no. Kong as well? Well, no? for me, it's not because I don't have like don't a corporate have an account. account. Yeah. Right. So it's you know right. just walk-in price, so it's yeah, not cheap. Yeah. Uh, okay. But some people don't mind paying that, in. you know, I, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll do it if they want. Right. Yeah. Right. But normally, I, I ship through Hong Kong Post. Yeah. They also have like an express. Service called uh, okay. speed post or so oh, yes. people know yep. them by EMS. Yep. Yeah, so I also do that too. I used to get probably five plus years ago, you know, you order something on eBay from Hong Kong, I'd almost get it next day. It was so quick. Yeah. And now it's like a couple of weeks. Yeah. Is that like, because that's is that US government regulation? I, I don't know. All that no, screen. Sometimes it's it, it's sometimes hard to predict. Right. Uh, I mean, I have people in New Zealand who get my package in three days or oh, four days. Nice. Okay. Yeah, but then there yeah. are also people in Australia that didn't get it after a month. Yeah, right, so I, yes. don't, I don't know what's going on, Oh, Because really. I used to buy tons of stuff <laughs> from yeah. Hong Kong because it'd be so quick from Hong Kong yeah. as opposed to China. Yeah. It'd be like almost next day or two or three days tops. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, it would take weeks from yeah. Hong Kong and i just stop buying yeah. things well, from Hong Kong. I mean, it's most of the time, based on my experience, yeah. uh, to Australia, it's about a week. Right. Most okay. of the time. Most yep. of the time, but I can't guarantee. Right. That. Yep. Cause, yeah. 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 <laughs> because oh. you guys have really tight, you know, border or security control. Yes. Yeah. Control. We have. Yeah. 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 So yep. sometimes, it, you know. Yeah. So you think it's probably held up yeah, here? In, yeah. So what's your return rate on eBay or your lost rate? How uh, much do you have to factor in? Not not very high, but yep. it depends on the item. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the like more expensive items. If I lose one, I basically <laughs> lose the next you know five ten sales. Right. Okay. <laughs> profit. Right. Uh, so yep. I do have to factor that in, but not not maybe I, I probably factor in mm. maybe ten percent just to cover you know my right. base. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's. But, that's I mean, the return rate is not that high. Yeah. But because. A lot of the time, what I lose is the more expensive item. Right, of course, Murphy's Law, <laughs> That's yeah. That's right. Exactly. You know, the cheap items, they, they never get lost. <laughs> right, okay. Or no one bothers to complain right. because yeah. they're $100 multi I know, yeah, exactly. Lost. Exactly. Yeah. What, um, what, is the, what is the best business? Is it better to sell lower volume, high priced stuff, or do you make a good. I, I assume the profit margin on the Low end on the cheaper stuff is much larger, like in terms of percentage. In but terms of percentage, yeah, 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 yeah it's going to be much true. larger, you know. Yeah, uh, I, I I like to sell cheaper things, you know, higher volume because right. it's just you know they're easier yep. to pack, they're easier to send out, <laughs> right? The cheaper to yep. ship and all that. Yeah. Uh, but then again, you know, people aren't just looking for those things. You know, they 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 want to buy. Uh, they they want multi meters and, and, and they yeah. want. You and know, and, yeah, and, yeah. and I like you know looking at those things as well myself. Yeah, yeah exactly. And, you yes, know, if I yeah, find yeah. something good, yep. and people like them, you know that that you know there's some satisfaction in, in doing that as well. Got it. Multimeters right. and stuff like that. Is that um, is there a decent enough margin on those to be in that sort of market, or, or like are you buying from dealers, or do you get directly from the are you buying like stuff directly from manufacturers? Some of them, yes. Some yep. I still have to go through like a middleman. Oh, right. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, but I, I, I do buy direct from manufacturers as well. Yeah. Uh, but if you ask me, in terms of profit, uh, it actually doesn't make a lot of sense. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to sell multimeters, to be right. honest. Right. Okay. Uh, but it's just something margin. that everybody yeah, yeah. wants. Everyone and wants. That's yeah. why I carry some of them. Got it. Yeah. 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 So, because you, you're a Bryman fanboy. Yeah. You're, you're you're a fan of the Bryman, as am I. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Nice meters. They make okay. Good meters, they're yeah. but they're a, they're not hard. They're not easy to get. So they're, do you find that a lot of people are uh, coming to you to get it because they can't buy yeah. it? Exactly. Locally? Yeah, that's I right. Thought, yeah. yeah, I thought that might be yeah, the case. Yeah, I, I do have a few like local customers because mm. they, they don't actually have like an official distributors in in, uh, in Hong Kong. Really? Yeah. So to buy one, people <laughs> either buy direct from Taiwan or yeah. they, they come to me. Oh, okay. okay yeah, because yeah. they're a Taiwanese company. Yeah, but, right. but I I'm myself I'm not you know an official uh, yep. reseller. I, I uh, still need to go it. through the agent in Taiwan to get uh, my right. to get my stock. Got it. Uh, so there's a middleman involved that's right, there. Yeah. Yep. But they don't seem to mind that, so right. that's what okay. I'm doing. Yeah. Excellent. How easy is it to pack and ship stuff, print labels and things like that? Are, are customs paperwork, is there any uh, hassle it, involved no, in no, that? No, not, not much. For Hong no? Kong, yeah. Post is fairly straightforward. Okay. Uh, yeah. So do you have a, like a label? Because a lot I of do the have stuff a label I get machine, yeah. from Hong Kong is like, you know, it looks like 
you know, something like that. You yeah, know, it looks yeah. like a. Yeah, uh, this know, is like a custom-made label. I, yeah. I, I do have one of these uh, uh, for, yeah, yeah. for some packages. Right. Uh, for the ones that are actually tracked, because yep. you know you can ship either without a tracking track number or, or with, with tracking. tracking. Yep. With tracking, uh, Hong Kong Post has their own system that we yep. need to use, and it prints out bigger labels. Okay, so you've got um, a label machine that yeah, handles yeah, all yeah. that. And, and I have my own label as well yep. for, for the non-tracked um, labels. Got it. Do, do you prefer to send track? Because I know when I send stuff on eBay, I always send it tracking because right. then if somebody complains they didn't get it you can prove that yes. they got it. It's well, probably it not worth it for a ten dollar yeah, exactly. or something. Right? For cheaper items yep. most people prefer to just send it non tracked. Yep. But for like multimeters or yeah, they, they things want. that are more yep. expensive it makes more sense to right so to so will you in, insist on people paying for tracking with for the some more yes, for some items in yeah. my eBay store I actually yep. made that uh, mandatory that you have to add yep. tracking. Smart move. Yeah. Yeah, Excellent. but the tracking doesn't always work that well for some countries. For Australia, yep. it's, it's great because they have like door-to-door -door tracking, so you see exactly where your package is. But you for it. some country, the tracking, some of them, the worst one only works until the package leaves Hong Kong. Right, and that's uh, it. And that's it. <laughs> and that's it. And I, I don't find it very useful to be right, honest. Right, exactly. But, but I mean, there's nothing I can do about that. Right. But for like the US, for Australia, for New Zealand. For most of the English-speaking countries, actually, because they have certain, uh, I think, agreement with these uh, post offices uh, right. uh, between them and, and Hong Kong Post, so they have very good tracking. Uh, they're adding some countries as well, like Russia. I think they, they've just added mm -hmm. Norway, Germany, yep. uh, and, and a few others that that is going to have that as well. Got it. Uh, yeah. Any countries you won't ship to? There are a few. Uh, <laughs> I, I used to ship everywhere, but yeah. I have recently added. Uh, South Africa, South Africa to and your band, Sri list. Lanka, right? Uh, to my blocked list. Why is that? They just wouldn't get there. Uh, I don't know. Like for <laughs> Sri Lanka, I, I don't get a lot of orders from them. I, right. I probably only got a few. Yeah. But out of those few, you know, <laughs> most of them actually said they didn't receive it. <laughs> right. And one actually uh, did get returned to me uh, just yep. last week, uh, and it says insufficient address or something but then I right. check I double check with the, the the information I get and that's exactly the address they, they told huh? me so I don't know what they happened. just didn't get there and then South Africa yeah. is also another one of those countries right. where they just yep. have massive massive delay at times right mm. and I, I've had one that got returned to me exactly one year after oh, I sent wow. it <laughs> At least you got it. I know. Right? That's that. That's. But impressive. I don't know what happened in those, you know, twelve months. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I mean, I've had a few of those, and you know, and and yeah. a lot of them are like more expensive items, right. and, and then I have to refund the customer. Yeah. And then it's just yeah. you know got to a point where it just doesn't make sense for me to to take got orders it. from some country. How bad is eBay now that like you can't leave negative feedback for a buyer? It's been I like can't. that for years yeah. now. I can either leave positive feedback, feedback or, or nothing. Or no, yeah. Or no feedback, feedback at all, yeah. and it's all it, it, it's a buyer's. It's very eBay is pretty bad for sellers, isn't it? It is. Yeah. It I mean, is. you're yeah. a, you're a, like a, got a proper store, yeah. and you know you've got like five thousand yeah. feedback, so you're yeah. quite. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm good. I mean, because yep. when I started, it was pretty difficult as well because they right. they set limits on new sellers oh, okay. where you you yep. can sell maybe five or ten items per month. Right. Yes. <laughs> and then yep. you can only sell like a hundred dollars <laughs> worth of stuff per month. Is that still uh, the case? Yeah. If you're a new seller, right. they, yeah, they do yeah. have these limits. I. I don't know. I think they have limits, especially for sellers in our part of the world, like right. in China, Hong okay. Kong, because there's so many of us there. Yep. Uh, so they, they do have very straight uh, mm. rules for us. And as you sell more, they give you, you know, you know more Higher margin. rating, yeah. and, right. And, right. And, but the fees are still a killer, aren't they? Yeah. The fees are... But you factor yeah. that into your price, exactly. right? You just build yeah. that into your yeah. margin and... Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Everything is built into the price, even yep. though it says free shipping. It's not really yeah, free. No, it's just no. built in. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> but that's what everybody does. So that's, it, it, what, exactly. that's what I do as well. Do you find that free <clears throat> shipping is like really entices really? Sucks I, I don't think so, but I I, I just think it's a bit easier for people to right. you know understand the price. They because then don't they don't have, have to, to think about that's it. Right. They don't have, they don't to, worry have to worry about, about, about that. Yeah. Got it. And yep. for us, it. it it is easy because mm. Hong Kong Post has like a you know standard shipping price for right. every for everywhere yep. in the world. But it's gonna get slightly more complicated after the turn of the year because yep. they they they're changing it to like a 
three tier system or something like that. Oh, so, okay. So pricing is going to be right. a bit tricky, but I'll try to still keep it simple, just, yep. just so you know people can um, buy you know with confidence and they don't have to worry about you know hidden courses and all that. Yep. So you're going to keep going? You're going to keep adding more stuff to the store? Or if you're reached Slowly, a limit where yeah. you can handle it yourself, yeah. is it yeah. like a volumes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just I'll, enough I'll at keep the moment? Eating, yeah. uh, I'm not eating, adding stuff. Yep. <laughs> but uh, uh, there's, yeah, there's only a certain amount of things that I can do in one day. On uh, on your own. and yep. right, yeah. Yep. And you've got a day job too, so. Yeah. So there you go. He's, uh, check out his store, 99 <laughs> Sent hobbies. hobbies or just Frankie.com. Frankie oh, with oh, a Y. Frankie with a Y, yeah. not an IE. Excellent. Right. Yeah. .com. Terrific. Thank you very much Thanks for joining for us. Me. Good to meet you. Yeah. And enjoy the rest of your Thank you. holidays. All right. Thanks. See ya. Bye.